How are you doing? Mom told us to clear the table. Well, I'm trying to finish the financial news. <laughs> and my pie. Give me that. What's new on Wall Street, Uncle Joe? Well, there's a... Uh, who took my coffee? I did. Well, for crying out loud. Well, you just said you wanted to finish your pie. And my coffee. <laughs> How about the rest of the dishes? We're trying to get them away from Uncle Joe. Oh, can't a fella relax, eat a hunk of pie, drink his coffee, and catch up on Wall Street? The Wall Street advisor. Where'd you get that? That shoe salesman left at the checkout. Kate, there's a stock in here that's a gold mine for money making. Gold mine. Whoops. May I remind you, Uncle Joe, that I still have 30 shares of Aztec gold mine stock you touted me on. There's nothing wrong with that stock. Mine was full of gold. There just weren't any Aztecs to get it out. <laughs> Kate, you should have made a killing on that stock. I should have, but I couldn't find you. Fishing? <laughs> Don't forget the tablecloth. <laughs> Come back here. What's wrong with the hot water? Nothing. Billy Joe's probably taking a bath. <laughs> Please! It's only me, your mother. Do you mind telling me why you're using all the hot water for a bath when we need it for the dishes? I've got a date. Oh. Well, don't use any more and don't get any on the floor. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Ma! What's the matter? Would you mind getting him out? <laughs> out. Out. Started the dishes yet? No, there's still no hot water, Mom. Betty Joe went up to tell you. No, Mom is not here. <laughs> Have you turned off the hot water yet? May I please take my bath in privacy? I beg your pardon, Cleopatra. <laughs> Taking him out. He's just waiting for the bathtub. It's his turn next. Out. Out. <laughs> Betty Jo, Mom's been looking for you. Well, I've been looking for her. Well, there's still no hot water. I can't understand that. I Would can't... you mind leaving? <laughs> oh, are you still here? Beat it. <laughs> they close the door. It was deeper, seeping out through a crack in the foundation. Meanwhile, I sandbagged the generator. Give me a hand of these boots, will you, Betty? Couldn't you fix the heater? Not without one of them underwater breathing apparatus. <laughs> hey, it's got hot water in it. Maybe we can use it to wash the dishes. <laughs> the heater's a total loss. We're going to have to get a new one. I don't have the money to buy one. That's no problem. We'll issue stock. Stock? Shady Rest Hotel Corporation. Not all of that water seeped into your boots. Some of it got to your brain. Hey, where's that shoe salesman's paper? The what? Wall Street Advisor. Oh, here. Hey, look at this. 
France International Hotel chain issues $32 million in stock for modernization program. $32 million? <whistles> Sounds like a nice program. What time is it on? <laughs> hey, when a big company wants money, the president don't just reach into his Christmas club savings. He calls up a printer and has him print stock and sell it. Then he takes the money and uses it. When the stockholders wonder what happened to their money, he issues an annual statement. Oh, that's the way it works. Yeah. So you'll get Sam to print some Shady Rest Hotel Corporation stock and sell it. Is that legal? Of course it's legal. He's a notary republic, ain't he? You know, Uncle Joe, there must be a more complicated way to get the money to buy that water heater. This is the only one I know of. See, didn't Mr. Drucker give you some kind of guarantee when you bought the heater? Of course. Here it is. They don't guarantee them heaters for more than 90 days or three months, whichever comes first. <laughs> this happens to be a lifetime guarantee. Lifetime guarantee, huh? Mm-hmm. That's what you gave me when I bought the heater from you. When was that? It says right there, 1945. Oh, yeah. Well, the company went out of business in 1946. <laughs> Didn't have much of a lifetime, did it? <laughs> well, there's nothing to worry about, Kate. Now, I sold you the heater. I'll make good on it. Oh, no, I couldn't let you do that, Sam. Well, I'd like to be able to do something for you. Uh, suppose I sold you a heater at cost. Well... The salesman left me a catalog on a new line of hot water heaters that are supposed to be pretty good. Uh, well, here we are. The Orbit. Super hot, hot water heater, lined with umbrellium. How much is it? Now, that's the new wonder metal tested under actual launching conditions in the Atlas Missile Motel at Cape Kennedy. How much is it? The orbit features an automatic jet afterburner, an automatic space pilot light, and it's decorated in the official colors of the National Aeronautical Space Agency. Well, if it doesn't make hot water, we can always launch it. How much is it? I suppose you'd want the stripped-down model without the Polaris drip pan. Yeah, I suppose. How much is it? Are you going to keep it in a cellar? Mm-hmm. How much is it? Then I guess you wouldn't want the decorative nose cone. <laughs> No. How much is it without all the doodads? Well, it retails for $102.50, but I could let you have it for the wholesale price of uh, $97.50. $97.50? Forget it, Sam. Well, how are you going to run the hotel without a hot water heater? Same way I ran it before I got a hot water heater. Tell Mr. Osgood he can start rinsing. <laughs> Tell Mr. Osgood he can rinse now. <laughs> Tell Mr. Osgood he can start rinsing. <laughs> Water, Mr. Osgood. We don't need no hot water. Bring a jar of soothing sand. Uh, what was the last thing I said? Uh, don't, don't, don't put that down. That's just to clear my mind. Sorry. Uh, Uncle Joe, I've got to do my homework. Then do it. Kate, this is important. Not as important as your homework. Did Mr. Oscar check out? Without paying. That's what I figured. Sore head. <laughs> That's not the only place he was sore. <laughs> well, I'll be back at 5.30. Where are you going? Where do I usually go when I wear this? Bixley Bank? Mm -hmm. Sure, that's Mom's. Everything's fine at the hotel, but I need a little money to tide me over, Hat. Hey, you don't need to borrow money from Gurney. Somebody giving away hot water heaters for nothing? Read the prospectus. Prospectus? Yeah, it's to whet people's financial appetite for the Shady Rest Hotel Corporation stock. Uncle Joe, we are not it's selling listen, stock listen in this... The but there is no point Can't in my... Can we read what I dictated? Just the way you said it? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> no, skip that and get to the meat of it. <clears throat> Your attention is called to a fiduciary investment that has just opened its doors to a hand-picked group of small investors. Uncle Joe, uh, uh, the train will be here any minute. The dog will let you know when the train's coming. 
If you don't put him to sleep first. <laughs> Go on, Billy. <clears throat> Nestled among the whispering pines overlooking the feudal Hooterville Valley. Feudal? I think Uncle Joe meant fertile. <laughs> That's what I said. What you said was, uh... <laughs> was that the train? <laughs> Stands the age-old Shady Rest Hotel, waiting to be invested in. <clears throat> the fiscal status of the erstwhile said hotel can be examined at your leisure. On the hook, hanging behind the modern registration desk. You know, this is going to be the first time I've ever gotten sick before I got on the train. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Isn't that a new hat, Mrs. Bradley? Oh, no. Don't you remember? I wore it for my second mortgage. <laughs> now, about the loan for the heater? Uh, Mrs. Bradley, you know, in addition to that second mortgage, we also hold the first mortgage on your hotel, plus two short-term loans and one long-term loan. Oh, I, I thought I had four short-term loans. No, the last time you were in, we converted two of those short-term loans into one long-term loan. <laughs> Why couldn't we convert two of the short-term loans into a home improvement loan? I'm afraid not. I have a responsibility to my depositors. But, of course, if you had some collateral... I got the hotel. We have the hotel. I got 30 shares of Aztec gold mining. 30 shares? Oh, Mrs. Bradley, about all that's good for is lining kitchen shelves. <laughs> It's not bad for lining stock and drawers, either. <laughs> well... I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. Oh, uh, Mrs. Bradley. Yes, Mr. Gurney? Uh, take a calendar. <laughs> Thank you. I'll, um... I'll think of you every day. Stock in the shady rest? Yeah. Uh, does Kate know you're doing this? Well, there's no point in discussing this with Kate. It's way over her head financially. Joe, if Kate needs money for a new hot water heater, we'll lend it to her. She wouldn't take it. Why not? If someone tried to lend me money, I'd take it. <laughs> you don't come from the long line of proud flesh, she does. <laughs> we bought stock, she would. Of course, that's business. Okay, we'll take one hot water heater's worth of stock. How much is the heater? Ninety-seven fifty. Let's see, that's uh, thirty-three dollars a share. Including my broker's fees. Why should you get a fee? Did you ever hear of the Securities Exchange Commission? Yeah. Well, we're exchanging securities, and I'm entitled to a commission. <laughs> you can make out your checks or cash, as the case may be, and I'll issue the certificates. One share, Shady Rest Hotel Corporation. I guess this makes me a sharecropper. <laughs> Shareholder. Yeah. Hey, Joe, what's this Aztec mining company you crossed out? Where's the money? <laughs> the shareholders are going to buy Kate the heater and ship it to her direct. Don't you trust me? No. no. <laughs> shareholders have spoken. Meet and adjourn. <laughs> Here. What new hot water heater? Well, Charlie and Floyd and Mr. Drucker are unloading it from the train. What? Go see for yourself. <laughs> that sure is heavy. Yeah. How would you know, Joe? You ain't touched a finger to it. I'm carrying the instructions. <laughs> what is that doing here? It's yours, Kate. Sam, I told you I couldn't afford it. Well, maybe you couldn't, but the corporation can. Oh, well, in that corporation? Come on, fellas, let's get the heater up the hill. Uncle Joe. Kate, I only sold three shares to Sam, Charlie, and Floyd. We got certificates. The shady rest... Well, these are... Uncle Joe, have you been in my stocking drawer? I didn't touch the stockings. 
fellas, I know what you're trying to do, and I appreciate it, but I can't let you do it. Now, Kate, as stockholders, we insist that the hotel have all the modern conveniences to protect our investment. Ain't that true, fellow stockholders? That's right. Yep. Take it back. Take it back. Kate, the stockholders have spoke. Well, that's the way you want it. It's all right with me. See, I told you this is the only way you can do business with Kate. <laughs> Take a snooze without you kids hollering. The sink is leaking. Mom, Mom, Mom. I'm out here. Mom, the bathroom sink is leaking. Aren't you ashamed? Well, what should we do? I don't know. Hey, hey. Oh. Watch it. The sink's leaking. Kate. I heard. I think the new hot water heater melted the pipes. <laughs> Do you know how much fan mail Rock Hudson gets every week? What are we going to do about it? I don't know. But he gets more fan mail than... Kate, the upstairs hallway's floating downstairs. It's not my problem. I don't own the hotel. What? You sold three shares of stock. That's all there is. So Sam, Floyd, and Charlie own control and interest. Take it up with them. But they... The former owner has spoke. <laughs> Why do we have to fix it? You're shareholders. You got to share the good with the bad. Well, I own stock in one of them automobile companies. When something goes wrong with a car, I don't have to leave my store and go all the way to Detroit to fix it. <laughs> Give me your wrench. Red. Wrench. Red. Hey, Charlie, shouldn't we ought to be wearing rubber gloves? What for? Well, that's what they always do on TV when they say wrench, wrench, wrench. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fixed. Let's see. <laughs> Working fine, Sal. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh, I don't own the hotel anymore. You don't? No. These gentlemen do. Sam, Mr. Parker's bed isn't made. You know you ought to take better care of your guests. Oh, Kate. And when you make up my room, would you mind carpet sweeping real good? It's kind of dusty. Look. And, uh, by the way, what are you serving for lunch? I gotta get back to my store. We gotta get back to the train. Hey, watch it. I got to tuck in the blanket. Well, can't you tuck it without her tucking me? No, it ain't big enough for the both of us. Joe! Yeah? Aren't there any bigger blankets? I guess so. Fellas, if we own this hotel, how come we're working and Joe ain't? Yeah, how come? Yeah, how come? How come, Joe? Because I ain't a stockholder. You ain't a guest, either. <laughs> Just what do you do around here? That's none of your business. It is, so we own this hotel. Well, you don't really own it. Oh, you mean that stock you sold us is phony? <laughs> well... Selling phony stock is a big jail offense. Well, it ain't really phony. <laughs> then we own the hotel. Now, just what do you do around here? Uh, that ain't enough. <laughs> Us stockholders ain't gonna put up with no deadheads. If you want your room and board, you're gonna have to work for it. It ain't bad owning a hotel. I'm glad you like it. How about some coffee, Kate? I'd love some. Boy! <laughs> yeah. He ain't no boy. <laughs> Kate. Mrs. Bradley. Yeah, address the guests by their proper name. Now look here, Charlie. Mr. Pratt. Get us some coffee, Joe. And don't spell it on our rug. It's tough getting good help these days. I imagine. <laughs>
Tell him. Sit down, Betty Jo. Waiter! <laughs> yeah. Miss Betty Jo Bradley wants a glass of milk. Miss Betty Jo Bradley can just get her own milk. Are you leaving? You're darn tootin' I am. Make your bed before you go. Please. It's your idea to sell the stock, Uncle Joe. Who's that? Anybody home? Oh, Mr. Gurney, come on in. Well, Hi. good evening, everybody. Hello. Would you like some coffee? Boy. I don't work here anymore. I'll get some coffee for you, Mr. Gurney. Oh, no, no, thank you. I just dropped by to bring your mother some good news. You know that Aztec gold mining stock? Well, I've checked it out. It's come to life again. Oh, you mean they discovered gold? No, uranium. Hey, I told you that was a good investment. Yes, and if you want to sell it, you can make a tidy little profit. Uh, I already sold it. No, you haven't. That was Shady Ranch Hotel Corporation stock. You can rub that out in favor of Aztec mining. Yes, we could if we had the stock, but you sold it to Floyd, Sam, and Charlie. Well, they'll give it back, won't you? Sure we will. I still owe you for the hot water heater, Sam. You can pay them back with what you get from your Aztec uranium. No, no, no. I like not owning a hotel. No worries. And it gives me a chance to catch up on Rock Hudson. <laughs> Kate, you got to. You got to, Kate. I'm more to a frizzle. Well, Uncle Joe, I'm sorry if you're tired. This whole thing was your idea. Uh, here you are, Kate. Now, here's mine. Where's yours, Floyd? Home, lining my stocking drawer. <laughs> <laughs> I can get it later. Well, Mrs. Bradley, this has turned out to be quite a profitable evening for you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kearney. <laughs> well, Mom, how does it feel to own the hotel again? Not so bad. Especially now that the sink doesn't leak and we have a brand new hot water heater. <laughs> Well, now, what's wrong with the lights? The generator needs a new amateur. <laughs> How much does that cost? Oh, around $40. Gentlemen, how would you like to buy some shares in a little hotel nestled among the whispering pines overlooking the futile Hooterville Band? <laughs> Good night, Kate. Good night, Kate. Good night. <laughs> Forty dollars, huh? Oh, them lights ain't no problem. We can get a big sign made spelling Shady Rest Hotel in bulbs. We'll plug it in so it'll go off and on with the generator. That's what all the big hotels do, especially Boy. in the... <laughs> Kerosene lamps for everybody. <laughs> This has been a Filmways presentation.